From Slide Nerd, this is Weaves. Hello, folks. What's up? In this video, I'm gonna talk about a program which we commonly ask ourselves: Do three sides form a right angle triangle? Now, what will we do in this program? Let's go and see. We ask the user enter side one, side two, side three. They do not form a right angle triangle. We enter side one, side two, side three. They form a right angle triangle, and five is the hypotenuse. Now, if you guys remember maths. Which I don't remember right now. I have to Google all this stuff out. Five, which is the longest side, is the largest number among these three, right? So that becomes the hypotenuse. So based on that, we have something called Pythagoras theorem. You guys must be remembering it. I have to Google this again. So if this C is the hypotenuse, then if you want to say that ABC is a right angle triangle, you have to calculate A square plus B square, right? And this should be equal to C square. If this is a right angle triangle, this is exactly our program. So what we do in our program is first we find the longest side, then we say that it's the hypotenuse. We calculate this remaining two sides, sum, square them up, and see if they are equal. That's what we are going to do, right? Let's go and see this. This is the logic of this. If a c square is a square plus b square, yes. Then you tell the user, yeah, this is a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is c. Otherwise, you say no. This is not a right angle triangle. So let's go ahead. Net beans, get this baby up and running. I have an empty project in NetBeans. This buffered reader stuff is there to take input from the user. I have written a throws exception to ensure that the compiler handles any errors. And I have written this java.io.star blah 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 to tell the compiler that hey look this is buffered reader. Look this is input stream reader. So now let's go ahead and ask the user three things. We'll say enter side one. Copy paste this entire thing right. Let's say enter side two, enter side three. Now we need three integers: int a, b, c. We are gonna give each a value of zero initially, so that we don't have any bugs. Okay, so now we take the input. We say reader dot read line. This is gonna give me a string. I need to put it in an int integer, so I say parse int. At this point, Java is going to give me an error. If you place a mouse, it's going to say cannot find symbol with that percent. You'll have to tell it that it is inside the integer class. All right. So this complete statement takes the value from the user, put it inside A, copy paste the same thing for B and C. All right. So now the three inputs are taken. So now we need to check who's the longest side, right? So the longest side is something like this. If A is bigger than B. And A is bigger than C. For A to be the longest side, it has to be bigger than B and A bigger than C. Both the conditions have to be true, right? So then we make another variable over here. We call it hypotenuse. Hypot. Keep that zero initially. We say hypotenuse is A because it's the longest side, right? So in that case, we need to find if the other two sides, that is B square and C square. We calculate b square plus c square. Is that equals to a square? That is hypotenuse square. So we say hypot into hypot, right? Is this equal? We ask is this equal? We say this right, and we put an if condition saying if this is the case, hypot that is a square or hypotenuse square is b square plus c square. That means. We'll put this in a bracket. That means that this is a right angle triangle, right? So we say system dot out dot print ln. I should have copy pasted. I know you guys are probably abusing me. Print ln. I'll say, yep, it's a right angle triangle, and with hypotenuse. As hypot, right? This plus sign, I'm using it so that I can use this entire piece of text, this thing in double quotes, and this value I can add them together up. Now, this point we have done. We need to repeat the same thing again for three times, right? Because A is here. We have said A is the biggest. Now, what happens if B is the biggest? So, so first of all, again go. B is the biggest. When is B the biggest? B is bigger than A, and B is bigger than C, right? 
then we say B is the biggest so hypotenuse is B hypotenuse to hypotenuse other two sides that is A and C right A is biggest or B is biggest and the third case this is the one where you have something like C is the biggest so you say C is bigger than A and C is bigger than B right in that case your hypotenuse is C so the other two sides are A and B you need to square them up so you say A square plus B square right and you say yep it's a right angle triangle hypotenuse is hypot so at this point we are done so here's the thing it's saying it's a right angle triangle but if the sides are not equal you need to tell in this if you see this case we have used the Pythagoras theorem over here right we have said b square plus c square is that equals to the hypotenuse square if it is not equal that means there is an else case over here then we simply say it's not a right angle triangle right so we need to say that we say nope not a right angle triangle so we have done something like this we have said a is bigger than b a is bigger than C. Yep, A is the mightiest of them all. So take B and C, square them up, see if they equal to the hypotenuse square. Yes, it's a right angle triangle. No, it's not a right angle triangle. This else part needs to be pasted everywhere because again the same things apply for B, same things apply for C, right? So let's go control S, shift F6. If I put aside like 10, 7, 4, nope, not a right angle triangle. Again, shift F6. If I put 5, 4, 3, Yep, it's a right angle triangle. You know why? Because 5 is the hypotenuse. 5 square is 25. 4 square is 16. 3 square is 9. 16 plus 9 is 25. So it is a right angle triangle with hypotenuse 5. It will satisfy this condition. A is greater than B. A greater than C. Blah, blah, blah. So I hope you guys understood something out of this. Yep, it's a complex program. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear from you guys. Comment. Let me know what you think about this. If you have any issues, you can comment me, ping me out. So, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.